What's up you guys, Christian here from leanwithstyle.com. In this video, we're gonna go over a HIT treadmill workout for beginners, specifically a 20 minute HIT treadmill workout for beginners. This is assuming that you have a treadmill to work on at your gym or at your home. I have one at my home in my garage. Some treadmills are different. However, this video is gonna assume that your treadmill can go up to at least speed 11. So want to make that clear before we move on so the workout is pretty simple you're going to do 11 to 13 sprints and there's a range because you'll see in a second about the rest times but we're going to do 11 to 13 sprints basically in a in a high intensity intervals fashion on the treadmill let's get into it really quick so your sprints these 11 to 13 sprints should be done at an almost all-out intensity meaning if you've ever seen rocky 2 <laughs> Uh, when they're sprinting on the beach, him and Apollo, this is my go-to example for every video. Uh, if you look, have a, if you take a look at their faces when they're sprinting, they are not messing around. They're going pretty much almost all out and they are, they are booking it, man. So when I mean almost all out intensity, that is what I mean. This could be anywhere from speed nine to 11 for you since you're a beginner and you're watching this video. So adjust accordingly depending on if you're a natural runner or you're good at running and know how to run and know what good running form is, or if you're just, I've never done high intensity interval training before or sprinted before, then I highly recommend doing a lower speed. Cool, so what you're gonna do is sprint for 30 seconds. Now I know in my previous videos, I have said you should, your high intensity intervals your sprinting sessions should be anywhere between 15 seconds to 25 seconds. However, since you're a beginner and more likely have not done high intensity interval training that much, I'd recommend just going a little tiny bit longer just to get used to the sprints. So I mean 30 seconds of sprinting with good form. So you shouldn't be falling over or, or you shouldn't look basically crazy when you're running. You should have good form i don't want you to get hurt so please make sure to check out a video on how to run with proper form on a treadmill cool so now let's get on to the rest times for this high intensity interval training treadmill workout i want you to do one minute of rest or more if needed so as you can see this is double the amount of time you're sprinting so 30 seconds times two is one minute. I like to follow a one to two ratio. So if I was to sp sprint or run for one minute, that means I would rest for two minutes. Hope that makes sense. Now, this is, since you're a beginner, this might be a little bit too little of rest. So adjust this accordingly. That's why I said before, this could be anywhere from 11 to 13 sprints. 11 being that you have to rest a little bit longer and you can only get 11 within 20 minutes, 13 is perfect. Basically, if you follow this exact format. So if you if you can get 13 sprints in, that means you're doing the 30 second sprints followed by one minute of rest on the dot. So again, rest more or less if needed and adjust accordingly since you are a beginner. So here's me in my garage doing it really quickly. As you can see, I'm just sprinting then resting. It's really simple. There's nothing complicated about this. I recommend doing this two to three times per week at max for if you're trying to lose weight or just trying to keep up your cardiovascular health. All of us need a little more help on, your, on our cardiovascular health. So this is a really good workout. If you have longer than 20 minutes to work out on the treadmill, I highly recommend you do, at least on some of your days that you do cardio because of this uh, illustration right here. This comes from Rusty Moore. It's from his Visual Impact Cardio course. So in so let me explain this picture to you guys. So this is why I recommend you do maybe 15 minutes of steady state cardio. So maybe incline walking after your sprints. And here's why. Intense exercise is the sprints you just did. The sprints get rid of glycogen in your body which comes from eating carbs when your body is depleted of glycogen when it can't pull from glycogen anymore it's going to start pulling from either muscle or fat now if you have a lot of fat to lose the more likely it is going to come from fat however 
high intensity interval training is the fastest way to deplete glycogen along with endurance training but in this case we're doing sprints that's why rusty moore once you're done with your sprints he recommends to do strategic cardio in this case being steady state cardio right after that so you can tap into those fatty acids and burn them and this all comes from this visual impact cardio course that i highly recommend you check out I'll leave it in the description below, but essentially you do high intensity interval training to burn through glycogen as much as possible, as fast as possible. Then you use strategic cardio, which in this case would be 15 minutes of incline walking or something, some, some form of steady state cardio to tap in and burn those fatty acids. Again, this all comes from visual impact cardio. If you guys like doing cardio or high intensity interval training on cardio machines and i highly recommend this course that's going to be it for this video guys if you like this video leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one